manicures, walking barefoot at the pool or gym, and even just aging can put you at risk for our next topic. Over three million people deal with nail fungus. That looks a little funky, doesn't it? Yeah. It's real tough to treat, but now there's a new laser that promises to zap it away. And to help us, dermatologist Dr. Glynis Ablon is in our procedure room with her patient, Linda. So tell us about this new treatment, Dr. Ablon. Well, this is really exciting technology. So this is it. See this little tiny machine here? It's nice and compact. This is a low-level light laser that generates both violet and red low-level light lasers. Linda will tell you, there is no pain, and it's the newest in technology for treating toenail fungus. And as you said, a lot of people have toenail fungus. 10% of all Americans have it, and as you get older, it's something that's more prevalent. So in the past, we didn't have a lot of options, and this is a great option with great success. It's FDA approved, and I'm gonna turn it on for you. So Linda, can I have your toe for a second? I'm gonna I mean, literally turn that on. And You're I'm absolutely right, doctor. A lot of people have it in there. A lot of people are embarrassed. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and what I think oftentimes what people do is they go in, they get their nails done at a salon, yes. they'll see something under the nail polish and they'll say, oh, just cover it back up. But the problem is then you spread it to the other toes, you spread it to your partner, it's highly contagious. So it's definitely something that you want to treat if you have it. And, and sometimes it's something that they're doing in the, the nail salons too, right? You want to make sure that they are being sanitary. Correct. Make sure if you can, you bring your own equipment, you make sure that there's a plastic cover on the area so that the bath that you're putting your feet in is sanitized as well. And definitely want to do preventive medicines and preventive, preventive methods. But in the past, we only had topicals, which in the way past really were very unsuccessful. Success rates were about 10%. And then we had some lasers, which were not very successful either, and they were extremely painful. And then we had oral medication. And oral medication has side effects. You're talking about the risk of liver damage. You do have to get blood work before you take any of those kind of pills. And even with that, the success is about 50%. So you're still dealing with something that, you know, is not 100% successful or even close. Linda, how, have the procedure, how has the procedure been working for you? Uh, the procedure's been working great. I've tried many things over the years and topicals and um, oral medication. And I was wow. glad to find this laser that doesn't hurt at all. That's pretty remarkable yeah. before and after. So Dr. Ablon, what's different? I know this, this is laser therapy as well, but this is a different type laser, correct? Correct, we're not dealing with heat. In the past, all of the lasers work by heat. And because this is a low level light laser, we're not dealing with any kind of heat. It's working on different kind of photochemical reactions. And it does have what's really nice, if you look at Linda's original picture, she actually has a little bit of a blackish greenish line on the big toe. I think she not only had an onychomycosis infection, but also a pseudomonal infection, which is wow. bacterial. And with the violet color light, we also get antibiotics or antibacterial effects, which means that we killed, and you can see on her second photo after two sessions, the bacteria was killed and it is gone, and then we're just finishing up with the onychomycosis. Got it. Or so Linda, in your case, you've already had a series of multiple sessions, correct? Yes. I've had four. Okay, so Dr. Ablon, typically how many do we need to do and what's the cost? And I tell patients that most of them need somewhere between four and six. We do four sessions once every two weeks. We see them back and then usually I'll see them back two months later, which is what this is for Linda. This is her two month check. We'll put her under the laser as we're doing right now. And then I would see her back two months after that. Remember that toenails take a while to grow out. And especially as we get wiser or older, we do find that it takes even longer. Normally it's four to six months to grow out a toenail. But as you get older, it can take nine to 12 months. So it's a long process. But what, what's nice about this is, again, if you can catch it early, you treat it, and patients do really well. We follow up, and they can see us for a single laser treatment if they need it. Does insurance cover the cost? Yeah, you know, it depends. The way insurance has changed, it's, it's very difficult. But I will tell you, some of the topical medications now, when I write it for my patients, are costing over $1,000. Yeah. So now, you want something that's affordable. This is less than $1,000 for the five sessions and something that someone can do. Now, Dr. Ablon, I've heard a lot of patients that I treat actually treat toenail fungus with success with apple cider vinegar in the sense of the fungus actually can't live in an acidic environment. So would you say that you could possibly co-treat along with the laser by using a home remedy like apple cider vinegar? So I love home remedies. I put apple cider vinegar in my baths. I think it's a great idea. I actually drink it as well. I do think it's a great product. 
The idea is that if you have a very early fungus, you can sometimes treat it. If it's very, very early, sometimes that will be enough. So it certainly can't hurt you. I think it's a great idea to start. But if it's not resolving, it's a good idea to get in to see your dermatologist. Excellent.